Coming up after the break, we'll take a closer look inside Australia's Parliament House. Tonight on Global Outlook. And I'm worried and I'm concerned. The dark secrets hidden behind India's economic boom. India is blooming only for the rich, not for the poor. Tonight, the ugly reality of the Indian miracle. This week on Sunday Night History. A political assassination attempt, Geneva. He would fight for the independence of Cameroon. But it would end in murder. Felix Blumier, the leader of the opposition in Cameroon, has been taken to hospital after being poisoned with Thalia. Now, the dirty secrets hidden behind his death are revealed. Bechtel admitted that he poisoned Blumier. Political assassinations, Sunday on Australian Network. Federal Parliament House in Canberra in Australia. It's a building that actually has a very major art collection and it was designed from the outset to reintegrate the work of the artist and the craftsperson into the building so that the legislators when they come here to discuss important business of the nation actually will be enriched by a sense of awareness of the arts and crafts of Australia. actually in the uh, front hall, the foot main foyer of that building and uh, we're standing underneath the marble columns which are a particularly distinctive feature of it and the marquetry which is designed by uh, Tony Bishop. In terms of the marquetry, what you have is on the northern side of the building, traditional Aboriginal food sources, and on the southern side you actually have specimens that Joseph Banks was particularly enamoured of when he wrote in his diaries on his trip back from Australia with James Cook. It's a very ancient technique for cutting patterns of different coloured timbers and inlaying them so that you actually have basically a picture emerging. by 14 metre mosaic which includes individually hand cut pieces of granite. It's based on a, uh, one of Michael Nostachakmara's traditional dreamings of, it's called possum and wallaby dreaming and it's about possums and wallabies and bilbies and snakes and potteroos and whatever all coming to a central ceremonial place to enact important ceremonial business, which of course is a direct reflection to what Parliament does for the nation. People come from around the nation to enact important ceremonial business. It is such a stunning building. It embodies such interesting concepts of how contemporary art can contribute to the fabric of an environment. I think the architects were very insightful in that sort of, putting that sort of arrangement in place. Um, we do tend, try to actually make work available so that the public can enjoy it as well as the parliamentarians. But you've got to remember that the primary purpose was about enhancing this environment, making this a place where better decisions would be made about how Australia is governed. And so that's what we take as our primary aim. 